How to get rid of spittle bugs. While a few spittle bugs class Herptera SPP won't doom your garden, these spitwad creating insects do suck sap from leaves, gradually weakening the host plant. During the larval stage, spittle bugs use the spit wads to protect themselves as they feed. Once mature, the one quarter inch long, dull gray brown beetles continue to feed on plants without the protective foam cover. Spittle bugs show up on edibles, ornamentals, and lawns, but with perseverance, you can eliminate these insects from the garden. Hand Washing Method For a simple, non toxic spittle bug solution, use a stream of water from the hose, wash them off. This method is particularly well suited for minor infestations in small areas where you can monitor the site and follow up as new spit masses appear. Another non-toxic method to try is hand picking to remove spittle bugs. Start by wiping off the foam and then pluck and crush the larvae underneath. Wash your hands with soap and water after working with any pest infested plant before moving on to other garden tasks. Chemical Control Method For a chemical solution, use insecticidal soap spray for both larvae and mature spittle bugs. Mix 5 tablespoons of insecticidal soap spray concentrate with 1 gallon of water in a clean spray bottle or garden sprayer. Shake it up and then spray it directly on the spittle bugs. Follow up weekly until the spittle bugs disappear. Wear goggles and protective clothing whenever you're working with insecticides and keep people, pets and children away from treated plants until they dry thoroughly. Do nothing approach. While it's true that spittle bugs damage plants when they feed in large numbers, this rarely happens. When you have only a few spittle bugs on a mature shrub or woody perennial and the foamy spittle isn't making your plants look awful, you can leave them alone. Natural predators, like parasitic wasps, prey on the larvae as they emerge, eventually restoring balance to the garden. Tender perennials and annuals suffer more severe damage from spittle bugs. Favorite host plants While spittle bugs aren't picky in their search for host plants they do have a few favorites. Annual beans Facilis vulgaris and strawberries Fragaria ex ananasa which grow in U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 5 through 8, seem particularly attractive. You'll also commonly find them on Lavender Levangula angustifolia which grows in USDA zones 5 through 8 and Rosemary Rosmarinus officinalis which grows in USDA zones 8 through 10. Lawn Damage and Control The two-lined spittle bug, a species that matures to a black-bodied beetle with horizontal red stripes, can infest and damage lawns. At the larval stage, it produces the protective spit wads during feeding. The larvae commonly feed down near the grass roots. Keep your lawn mowed and raked to discourage two-lined spittle bugs. Cutting back on watering as much as possible also helps control spittle bugs. Insecticides for the lawn Spray the spittle bug larvae until they are saturated with a ready-to-spray insecticide that contains a pyrethroid. You can find insecticides specifically for lawns that attach to your garden hose. All you need to do is turn on the water and water the lawn. Apply insecticides in the spring and early summer or whenever the larvae are present. Keep children and pets off the lawn until it dries completely. While spraying, wear a respirator, eye protection and long pants and sleeves. Puncture the bottom of the insecticide bottle when it's empty and throw it away. <laughs>